What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to Mr. Plays, and today I'm going to show you how to use Quake in Marvel Contest of Champions. Roll the intro. So guys, we all know Quake is one of the best champions in MCOC, if not the best champion. She's literally a cheat code. I want cheat codes. But she is also a pretty hard champion to play. In this video, I tell you how to play Quake correctly and effectively in the game. So Quake's effectiveness comes from her heavy attack and her aftershock. While charging her heavy, she deals some physical damage every single second. It will also inflict a concussion, decreasing the opponent's ability accuracy by 100%. This prevents literally anything the opponent will do from actually happening. While charging her heavy, the aftershock ch scale, which we'll talk about later, goes up by 1 every 0.48 se seconds, so pretty much 2 every second. Her big thing is that she will auto-evade all basic attacks while the opponent has a concussion. This does not include special attacks, though. For her aftershock, it happens every 10 seconds after the aftershock scale starts. This does a lot of damage for every point on the aftershock scale. She also has a 10% to stun the opponent for 1.5 seconds during the aftershock. This chance and the duration of the stun go up by 10% for every single point on the scale. This will also inflict a concussion for 5 seconds, reducing the opponent's ability accuracy by 100% as long as there are at least 4 points on the scale. Her special 1 adds 2 to the aftershock scale, special 2 adds 3 points to the scale and inflicts a 5 second concussion, and finally the special 3 adds 6 points to the scale and stuns for 3 seconds. Now how to use Quake. There are two main ways to play Quake. There are Quaking and then parrying, or Quaking and then dexing. For Quaking and then parrying, what you do is you hold your heavy, and when you get attacked, you will evade it, and then the next hit or attack on you, you will end up parrying and start holding heavy again. For quaking and then dexing, you do the same thing, but instead of heavy and then parry, you heavy and then dex and then repeat that. This method is better for a few reasons. First of all, it allows you to fight stun immune champions. It also has you take no chip damage from the parry, which can really add up against beefier opponents. If you practice this method, you'll be quaking like a pro in no time. With Quake, though, there are a few things to know about before fighting. First of all, she does not evade specials, so any champion with power gain will be a harder fight. But with her concussion, you only have to let them get that power gain, bait out one special, and then do normal quaking, which will deny them any power gain later in that fight. Also, True Strike nodes and champions who can bypass evasion will not be able to get quaked against because her evade will fail and then she will get hit. One final thing is if you get a special attack in some way, either through some node that gives you power gain or you get hit, you can hold heavy, get attacked, evade it, and then instantly throw your special instead of dexing. This is something that can be done if you want some extra damage, and you want to just throw a special, and also will give you some extra points on the Aftershock scale. But that's it, that's how to play Quake. So she's a very complicated, not too complicated, but she's a hard champion to learn how to play. And But if you, as, as long as you do a little bit of practice, you can become a Quaking legend and beat pretty much anything in the entire game. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you did like it, please be sure to subscribe with notifications on. And also be sure to follow us over on Twitter at MrPlays9. And until next time, peace!